Welcome back, guys, and thanks very much. As promised before, this uh, next session, we're going to be talking about the national employment standards here in Australia. Now, I know a number of you are from different countries around the world. We've got people from Asia, from South America, Central America, and even Europe. So welcome, guys. And what I'm going to go over is the national employment standards here in Australia. There are 10 minimum standards, which I'll go through quickly. However, the information that I'm going to provide is general. And for further information, I suggest to seek further advice either through the um, Fair Work Commission here in Australia or the Fair Work Ombudsman here in Australia. And I'll provide the websites uh, for you. But uh, the number one employment standard here in Australia is a Fair Work Information Statement. That is, when you start work here in Australia, the employer is obligated by law to give you a statement of information about work here in Australia. The next um, item there is uh, the maximum working hours per week, which is 38 hours, with reasonable overtime. Now that word reasonable can have various connotations about it, and again, we've got to look at these things case by case, but it is usually reasonable and safe to assume that overtime from one hour to four hours per week would be somewhat reasonable. All right, the next number three item is the request for flexible working arrangements. Now you have got the right to re request from your employer flexible working arrangements. For example, people with children that need to pick them up before after school or drop them off uh, for school, etc., and other sorts of arrangements. So you do have the requ uh, rights to request that. Not necessarily it will be granted, but the employer must consider it and uh, must have a valid reason not to be able to grant those flexible working arrangements. Number four is parental leave and um, related entitlements. So people that uh, need to go on parental leave, there's some uh, entitlements for you with that. Number five, annual leave. In Australia, we have four weeks annual leave as a standard. Now this might increase to more if the individual is, is uh, working on shift work. Number six, personal leave, carers leave. So we have um, 10 days of personal leave, or that's often referred to as sick leave. We also have two days paid for compassionate leave, that's for people that need to attend a, a um, direct family member's funeral. Also, we are entitled to community service leave. We can apply for that. We can. We also accrue a long service leave, and this will depend on the various states and the, the various awards, either enterprise awards or, or a um, industry award uh, base. Public holidays, both state and federal public holidays, you will be paid for, and also some standards in relation to termination, redundancy, etc. So they're the 10 employment standards here in Australia, and they are at a minimum. Now, what I find with a lot of international students, they're here and they're working under a casual arrangement, a casual working arrangement. Now, if that's your situation, and I know a number of you are working under that situation, you are entitled to a 25% loading on top of your hourly rate. So, for example, if you're getting paid $18 an hour, that's 18 Australian dollars an hour. If we add 25% on that, that would be $4.50, totaling a total of $22.50 per hour that you're entitled to. Now that casual loaning of 25% will compensate for the annual leave, the sick leave that you would typically not accrue. All right. So hopefully this gives you a bit of a picture and provides a framework to how the minimum standards are working here in Australia. It is a complex area, and if any of you want to discuss further with me in terms of detail, I'd be more than happy to discuss with you. But again, there's a load of information on the Fair Work Commission's website and also the Fair Work Ombudsman website. For guys watching at home, please uh, have a look at these websites or review this video again for more, um, for more information. Thanks for your participation today, guys, and, uh, and good luck with work.